Hi all, Todd here. Connie here. And we are in Wilkesboro, North Carolina. It was founded in 1800, and the yep. building behind me is the museum. And it was this building here was built in 1902. So we're gonna walk around and show you Wilkesboro. Let's, Let's go. go! And right here you find a historical marker, Stoneman's Raid. On a raid through Western North Carolina, General Stoneman's U.S. Cavalry occupied Wolfsboro, March 29th, 1865. Go around here, you can see some of the buildings. I love that one there where they painted up. J.T. Ferguson building right there. And go around here. I'm going to walk all through here. And then here, of course, is the uh, Wilkes Heritage Museum, built in 1902. And then you get this war memorial right here for the veterans and people who lost their lives during the wars. World War One, the Vietnam War, World War II. Wow, that list is pretty big. Korean, Korean conflict. And you got Korean over here. And Vietnam. And then, of course, Vietnam. Very nice. Wow. Oh, then it's got Iraq War and Operation oh, you do, yeah. Freedom. Then you got uh, Put a little memorial here to veterans. A little bricks here for each one. And check this cannon out. Let me walk over here and see what that's all about. So I'm guessing here there's a time capsule buried underneath the cannon. Yeah, the Bicentennial Commission buried a time capsule vault six feet under this marker on December 2nd, 1978, to honor Wilkes County's 200th anniversary. Uh, the vault is to be. Uh, examined during the tricentennial by order of the commissioners Wilkes County Board of Commissioners in 1978 but um, yeah this is probably I would say World War One for sure this cannon is so there's a time capsule underneath the cannon and then over here the water was on earlier it's not on right now but they have a little water cooling off area a little fountain here it's really nice to get cooled off but I'm not sure if the, the museum's up. And we just really want to walk around the town, too, and check it out. So, if we can take a peek, we'll try to. But I want to show you this gas station. Looks like it's a restaurant now. Let's walk over there. It's an old Texaco gas station. So, it says, suck it up, milkshake company is right here. And then also, it's called Cook's Outfitters Bike and Kayak Rental Bike Shop. That's real neat. It's an old Texaco gas station they've converted. Nothing going on right now. I don't think they're open. Doesn't look like it. But uh, well, the sign's not on. So, but they have a little entertainment area over here. But behind here, we were looking down. We found an old log cabin. We're gonna walk down there and check it out. And right next to the gas station, the the old Texaco gas station, you got an electrical car charging stations here, which is really nice. And right behind the museum, you have these condos. Look brand new that they've built. That's really nice. So that will help bring business to the downtown area. And got this building here for rent. It's really cool. Nice the WFB, uh, FD building here. That's nice. So yeah, it's the old municipal building right here. And it's for rent. And look, the old Wilkes County Jail right behind here so you got a confederate memorial there as well but this is wild this old jail <laughs> doesn't look open either but it's saturday maybe they open at noon i'm not sure but it's the old uh, wilkes jail museum built in 1859 there's the marker right there wow it's been here a while so next to the log cabin, we found this statue. It's Colonel Ben Cleveland from 1738 to 1806. Wilkes County Militia, definitely during the Revolutionary War period. And then here's another marker on this log cabin, circa 1779. Now it looks like, it says, this is Robert Cleveland's log home. Wow. And it's under camera surveillance. So this is really nice. Early food preservation, drying, salting, smoking, and pickling, and sugaring. Kind of gives you what they used to do for each of those. And maybe that was this part of the house, and the living was over here. So this is really neat. Kind of found this tucked behind uh, 
Main Street. Yeah, so they got some herb growing. It looks like it's mint growing here. A lot of them depended on that. You got to get your own herbs grown and seasoning of your foods, things like that. But yeah, all kinds of mint right here. That oh, yeah, it's mint. Mint, <laughs> okay. Lemongrass or Lemongrass. something. You know, something lemony minty. Yeah, oh, look at this lavender. I mean, the uh, um, the bumblebees are going nuts over here. Wow. Yeah, they are. It's so pretty. Yeah, they have all, all kinds of herbs growing around a log cabin. Yeah. So it's two stories? Yeah, it looks like it. It's a nice size cabin. Nice pretty fireplace. Nice. Pine front frame. That's yeah. a pretty big cabin. Yeah, it is. It's really nice. Must have been an important, definitely an important figure here in town, that's for sure. But this is gorgeous. Love that. So be sure to check it out if you're ever in Wolfsboro. Come back here and check out this uh, cabin. It will hopefully be open if you stop by. Uh, probably like people in historic outfits. Reenactors here. Kind of showing you this area and what they do here. I love all the herbs they got growing around the cabin. So in front of the cabin, check this out. You got the uh, greenway going through here. The trailhead access is right here. It goes down that way. I'm not sure how many miles it goes, but I'm sure it goes a pretty good while. And they do have uh, this historical marker here, so you can read about the log cabin in the area and what went on and the restoration of this log cabin. Very cool. Yeah, he's definitely a key figure. He uh, also looks like he fought at Kings Mountain. In October of 1780. Lived right here. So Robert Cleveland had 12 kids. He's also an American Revolutionary War hero as well. He did a lot during the war. He fought at Kings Mountain as well. But yeah, it's probably why that house is so big. 12 kids. And right next door is the old Wilkes Jail. It was kind of dilapidated and they went in there and they fixed it up. But here's how it looks now. And you can take tours of it. Nice that they're doing this. Very nice. So Connie's down there still reading the, uh, the placards. So here's the official name of the Greenway. It's Yakin River Greenway. And public parking back here too. So plenty of parking for you. And they, like I said, they do have plug-ins for your electric car or vehicle right over here. So you have really good access. It looks like at one time there may have been some buildings here, but now you have this wonderful amphitheater. Got this really nice mural painted on the side of the Texaco gas station. You got this guy over here playing the banjo. But this is the uh, pavilion right here. It's the Wilkes Communications Pavilion. And you go out here and set up your little picnic area, a little seating area, and enjoy the show. I'll also let you know too at the Wilkes Community College up here they have the Merle Fest. And I will have all the information. So, yeah, to have it up here in Wilkesboro. And walk down this way. And then on here, they have uh, all the other events coming up. That's neat. There's a lot of country and music festivals coming up. Like I said, Merrill Fest is up here. And here's the Bluegrass Festival coming up on uh, Saturday, September 14th. So, where we saw the signs right here in the window, this is Carbon 14 Tattoo Parlor right here. They also do piercings. And we're just enjoying our stroll. In Wilkesboro, we love the small towns like this throughout North Carolina. Thought you'd like to walk with us too. Cool investment company here. Got property and everything for sale, residential and commercial, and land. A lot of those are pending sales. Wow. The old children's boutique right here. Sugar Bees Children's Boutique. Here's the police department right here. Look at a sundial. Check that out. That is so cool. It's right on 11 o'clock. Wow. Neat. Nice old incline. <laughs> right up that road right there. Like I said, we're in the foothills. So we're not too far from the mountains. We head a little further down this way, then we're going to turn back around and we'll walk down that way and check out this old gas station. Nathan's Batteries, but I love how they preserved it to the old uh, gas pumps there, the SO gas pumps. That is so neat. And it's still in use, which is great. Love this building. It's the old post office built in 1915. 
it looks like it might be like an art center now. Because it says gather, music, celebrate, moments. Yeah, I need to check into that. But it looks like it'd be a great theater. But I love the architecture on that old post office. Now, this one here is a federal building right here. It's got the United States Post Office and the uh, courthouse. And what's funny is it says now leasing. So I don't know if that's still active or not. Kind of looks like it is. But maybe they have just office space in there, additional office space that you can lease out. But uh, this is probably built in the 60s, is what it looks like. Not sure when this was built, but this historic Wolfsboro School just equal housing opportunity. So they've changed this old school into housing. I'll have to show you the back too. They did a great job. Great way to utilize space is converting like stuff like this, this old school, into housing. Okay, it was built in 1937. There's a little placard up there near the door is when this was built. 1937. That's a great use of an old piece of property. So here is the courthouse and the post office, the back of it. And then over here is where the school is. They've added all this. Check this out. It's part of the housing. It goes way back here. Not sure if that's original right there. I think they may have added that. No, maybe not. Because back there, that building looks like it's original. Yeah, it looks like they, uh, or they just used old brick. That's really nice. Yeah. New housing. That is the old school. I want to show you that old house right there. That's pretty neat. It looks like it is currently occupied. But I love these old structures like that with that permanent roof. That's really nice. Yep, here's the side of the uh, post office and everything. Yeah, very 60s, late 60s architecture. And the city halls right here, same thing. Yeah, that was real popular back in the day, that's for sure. I had to get a shot of this old pine tree. Check it out. That's been here a long time. Ooh, the bottom is huge. This is so cool. Wow, that's pretty awesome. And here's the old post office. So they have a little stage back in there, a nice little garden area. Yeah, 1915. Looks about right when this was built. All that detail in the stone and the brickwork, beautiful. Oh, they do uh, wedding events here too. So they do events here. Yeah. You're kind of just chilling out in the shade. <laughs> Look at that old uh, blown glass in the window there. So now it's like an event center. So that's pretty neat. I said earlier, probably did shows. Maybe they do, I don't know, but it says wedding and events. So that's neat that they're using that now for that type of stuff. So I would have loved to gone inside, but right now they're doing a bridal event inside. So, yep, that's a no-go. Yeah, automotive, commercial. They also work on boats, it looks like, and that's Nathan's batteries. Sometimes we get a food truck come over here. The food truck behind there, but I just wanted to show you this again. The old gas station. The gas pumps are awesome. The old SO gas pumps. Well, I love it that they've restored this. Now we're on the opposite side of the street here. And this is Morrison's Fine Antiques and Collectibles. Doesn't look like they're open. Which I would love to go into because it looks like he has some cool stuff. Built in 1946. Check out the old Coke machines. You can see that. There you go. Neat. I just would love to have gone in there. Oh, look at, look at the cat hook. Little statue of him right there. But yeah, he's not open. All right, we're heading down this way. There's Barlow's Bargains. We got a bakery here. And authentic Mexican food at Mr. Toro's. I'm kind of getting thirsty. I've got to find a place to get something to drink real quick, but. Look like a cute little Mexican restaurant right here. People already inside eating. There's the bakery. Open at 11, close at 8. Very nice. And get an old bakery in there. And here's a shop local here at the Seasons Inspirations. Antiques, florals, gifts, furniture, home decor. And they're open. Video games, records, toys, and horror movies. Oh, my check it out. Summit Gaming and Collectibles. 
Let me check the inside real quick. So we came inside Summit Gaming and Collectibles. All kinds of toys up here and stuff. But he's going to go here. Kind of show you the inside. But yeah, always ask before you film. I did. It's cool. I'll look around, but he's got some really neat stuff. He's got a lot of games. And he's also got Michael Myers right here. So cool. Kind of talking to him right now. Oh, this is neat. The old movie posters you can buy here, too. Wow. And this is CJ, the owner hey of the store. And uh, how long have you been open, CJ? So, uh, matter of fact, September the tenth of uh, next month will be open for two up uh, two years. Almost two years, two months. <laughs> right? So, two years. We've been uh, uh, in this spot for two years. Two years. I love your store. It's great. And yep. you said you have tournaments like card games and miniature like role playing games stuff like that upstairs. Absolutely. So uh, we we specialize in Magic, Pokemon, Yu Gi Oh. Dungeons and Dragons, um, but also we have uh, video game tournaments on a 120 inch projector up there. Oh, that's cool. Um, with a retro room that you can come in and play all retro video games. Oh, that is so cool. Well, we'll have all your information in the description so they can find you, okay? Awesome. Well, thank you guys. Thank you for coming by. And he's got a I'll, nice I'll vintage Star Wars collection yeah, here. Check these out. Wow, he's got a bunch. Yeah. Very nice. The only thing I like about Hit Club, 75. You know, I, I, um, I, I, I call it. I've he's in great shape. Asphalt, uh, uh, asphalt. So CJ, he recommended Mr. Toro. So we're going inside and get something to eat. And here's the menu here. And uh, yeah, we're looking at everything. It looks like they have a lot of choices. Look at all that. Yeah, I'll have their information in the description as well for this restaurant but uh, here's the inside are you here of uh mr toro's and the bakery is right next door as well so we decided to get tacos connie get the pork and i got the steak can't wait to dig in looks delicious okay so i'm going through my first one this is amazing and uh connie is devouring hers what do you think excellent excellent yeah it's really really good and the green sauce that it comes with it's like an avocado base, kind of a lemon in there too. It's, I mean, the taste is just great, fantastic. You'll, you'll devour this. And there is my food review. So lunch there at Mr. Toro's is awesome. It's Sal, uh, Salvadorian food, fantastic. So I do highly recommend if you're in town at Wilkesboro, check it out. Now we're heading down the street. We're on the opposite side now. Here's a place called the Fifties. Doesn't look. No, they're not open. Doesn't look like it. Nope. Let's see if I can get a shot of the inside. It's kind of cool in there, though. Uh, <laughs> heading down this way. Now, it looks like the milkshake place is open now, the old gas station. Their open sign is going on. But uh, the Pink Flamingo Boutique doesn't look like uh, nothing's going on right now. It's just open for deliveries. So keep on walking down this way so the distance you see the mountain over there is really nice well, pan around here and check us out right here yeah check him out play the guitar where the mountains see what it says where the mountains begin Wilkesboro North Carolina yeah that's really nice want to get a shot of the museum across the street here looks like they're open now might take a quick peek before we leave but we're almost done. We're going to head down this way just a little bit. And uh, they got restaurants over here as well. Well, we got Dooley's over there. A little tavern. Uh, yeah. And check this out. Two Burroughs Brewery. Really cool. They're all falled out already. Ready for fall. I am too. I'm ready for this uh, heat to go away. Come inside. Check it out. They were open, so... But they made their own beer in the back, and they get the, you can get your pizza in here too. Look at this place; this is awesome. Yeah, and it smells delicious in here. We already had lunch, but the pizza smells great. There's some old photos of the area; very cool. All along here, old photos. But 
Yeah, if you need some pizza, it looks like it's like freshly made here. Homemade pizza. A lot of personality in here. I love this bar. So I'm happy we were able to get a shot of the inside of the Two Boroughs Brewery. Very cool. And over here, where these restaurants are, where Dooley's is, used to be a hotel. Yeah, right here. The railroad went by here quite a bit. And we're going to hit another area of Wolfsboro. We're going to show you that too. And probably in a separate video. So, but yeah, people outside eating and everything. But yeah, this was a hotel. I'm going to try to get a shot of the inside of the Dooley's Grill and Tavern. And here is a shot of the inside. Like I said, this was a hotel at one time. There's some cool vintage photos up here. Look at the dessert. They look good, don't they? Oh yeah, especially the, they have an apple pie and then the bourbon pecan, bourbon pecan pie. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's good. That's a nice bar too. They're very busy in here. Great restaurant. But here's a shot of the, looks like the front of the hotel right up here. And then they have a market over here. This is Mother Earth. They do like herbal extract, stuff like that. But they also have desserts. But it's Mother Earth Cafe right here. But yeah, look at all the desserts back in here. Yeah, if you want to eat healthy and take care of yourself, it's probably the place to come. Get your herbs and they have the fresh honey and everything. Different types of food in the back as well. There you are there. Historic Smithy Hotel is what it was. So I just want to get a shot here because a lot of this you can't film. This is like the main hallway as soon as you come in, so it's fine here. It's $7 to go in and they don't really permit photography or video inside the actual museum museum but this is a beautiful building so i do recommend coming here checking it out but yeah this is the main hallway and they have the water feature going now the kids can play in that's really nice too got a lot of motorcycles out today going into the mountains yeah we're in the, like i said we're in the foothills we're, we're at the, the gateway pretty much to the mountains over here so we found this park here and it is called Shelton Play Park. Yeah. Thought we'd stop by and check it out. And uh, yeah, so far we've loved Wilkesboro. Cool little town. But yeah, let's show you this awesome park that we found. Looks like they have a greenway here too. It looks like it's really nice right there. But uh, oh, look at the mist going too. The temperature is like 75, I think, and the humidity is like nothing. But look at the park over here. This is really nice what they've done here. In the town of Wilkesboro, look at this. Little play area for the kids right here. It looks like it has that um, recycled rubber flooring they have on the ground there. there so the, the kids do fall, they can not hurt themselves. But yeah, check this out. Look at the mist going in there to keep cool. And you have these cool little Honey, check it out. We've got the xylophones in different styles. Oh, yeah. Here, let's see, let's see if Connie will play one of them. Or all of them. Let's see what kind of noises that makes. Oh, wow. She's actually got a tune. Wow. Connie knows how to play the xylophone. I didn't know that. <laughs> and you got, look at these over here. Check that. These are the pipes. Let's bang on those too. Let's see what kind of noises they make. Oops, keep dropping it. I think you just hit the, oh, there you go. That's cool. She's jamming out. So you have a solid phone over here too, honey. <laughs> She's like, she won't stop now. And we got this over here as well. I'm just banging away. Yep. <laughs> I know. Oh, that's neat. <laughs> wow, that's cool. I'm not sure what this is. No bangers for that, though. But this is really neat. The kids can play here and have a good old time. And what's cool about this one, it's like shaped like a plant, but it's an actual instrument. Yeah, you can spend all day here just playing these things. See the artificial turf here. Got some trees growing. It's going to be really nice when these trees get real big. Offer a lot of shading. 
But yeah, right now you really don't need that, but it will keep you nice and uh, cool. Oh, wow. When you step on this, it's all like cushiony. Yeah, and it's like the kids fall, they won't hurt themselves. Yeah, it kind of, <laughs> there it is there. But um, it's all rubber. Yeah, you can bounce on it. Very cool. Let's see what this is. So, you got little things here. Tells you about what's what and what you can do here in the little park. Right here. Really neat. I'm going to walk over here. It says what the... I showed you the name of the park, I think. But let me walk over there. I want to see what it looks like. Okay. Yeah, here it is right here. Shelton Play Park. And uh, we're, we're not too far. When the, we're too, not too far at all from the mountains. We're very close to the mountains. But, uh, yeah, it is a great little park that they built here. And they got this nice little brook going through the park here next to the greenway. Yeah, this is really nice. We're going to walk back in, down this pathway. But here are the baseball fields over here. Looks like they're just ending a game or practice or something. They're start, people starting to leave. And uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to walk down here just a little bit and uh, show you this greenway. Yeah, this is really nice. I love the creek going through here. This is great for the family, too. Come out here and have a picnic. Watch the uh, baseball games with the kids. I, just, I love this area here, what they've done. It's really nice. We're not, we're not going to go too crazy far, but I just wanted to show you this. But they also have Frisbee Golf here. Really really nice and we want to thank you for joining us did you have fun i had a great time that restaurant was amazing yeah. toros mr yes, toros it was you liked that a lot oh yeah i really so, did highly recommend coming here and, and if you're in town and you want some good mexican food or el salvadorvian or salvadorvian is that Saldorvian. Right? Saldorvian food. It was fantastic. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the walk around. A really yep. cool town. Yep. Stay tuned for our uh, next town. We'll have that coming up really soon. You guys take care. Bye. Bye-bye.